Alright guys, what's going on? Hump day, we've made it to Wednesday. So, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, back with another Summer Wells video. Uh, I'm doing some videos right now, if you hadn't noticed, about stuff that's caught my eye that I've not really talked about in other videos. Uh, speaking of that, the Summer Wells case, boy has it gotten deep <laughs> right anyway um, well what I want to talk about today that I never paid attention to is and I heard I heard that she didn't talk to police I heard that Candace didn't talk to police I thought well I don't know how true that is I don't know how I missed this but I did and um, it's basically I guess uh, Leslie shut up that's right when Don, when Don B speaks the cicadas listen um, Leslie and Allison I guess was on video chat with Candace tonight, Summer went missing, and uh, apparently the cops were outside talking to, to Grandis, and uh, what Grandis said on the video chat, a little concerning, a little concerning I must say, so uh, let me play that for you here. Have the cops been there yet? Yeah, she said her mom was outside talking to him that she wasn't going to talk to him. Is that what she said? Yeah. She wasn't going to talk to the police. Yeah, no. But her daughter's missing. Yeah. Okay, and then what happened? All right, so there's the, uh, there's Leslie and Allison, you know, Hunter's mom, saying that, you know, they were on video chat with, with Candace, and Candace says that she wasn't going to talk to police while her daughter's missing. And we're talking the same night that Summer went missing, right? Leslie said, the strange thing about the whole thing is she never shed a tear. There's that cicada again. I told you to shut up. Anyway, um, but that makes me wonder because remember when Detective Pruitt said they had a decent line of communication with him at first and things kind of changed? Did they really? Did they really? I mean, these people said that Candace told them on the video chat that she wasn't going to talk to police. But I got Detective Pruitt saying that you know, in the beginning, they, you know, they would stop in. Well, well, let me just play it for you. Reported missing. It was pretty good. Uh, we would show up about every day, make sure that they were okay, and um, had a decent line of communication with them. About a month later. So, I mean, there's Detective Pruitt saying that they had a decent line of communication with them at first. Um... What do you think's going on here, guys? I'm trying to analyze Candace, the night Summer went missing, saying that she wasn't going to talk to police, and Detective Pruitt saying that they had a decent line of communication with the parents at first. It, it's not. It's not adding up here. Like, how can you have? Really? That's right. How can you have a decent line of communication with the parents when this one, you know, when Candace is telling, you know, on a video chat with two people, I ain't going out there and talking to the police. <coughs> so anyway, guys, that's what I'm struggling with today. So let me know what your thoughts are on it. Do you think maybe Pruitt was just being nice? Do you think he was... You know, um, I mean, what 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 do you think's going on here? 
I'm, I'm struggling to figure it out. So I'm hoping y'all can help me out with this. So drop some comments. Uh, let me know how you're taking it. I'm trying to analyze it and I just can't, uh, can't figure it out here. You know, is he, is he talking about maybe later? Because like I said, this was the night Candace, or uh, Summer went missing is when Candace said she wasn't gonna talk to the police. So maybe, maybe he's talking about maybe a couple nights later, but even to this day, it still doesn't sound like they've got a good direct line of communication with the parents. So let me know your thoughts, guys, and uh, I'll be back on here this evening and drop another video. So till then, y'all have fun.